Hi, uh, this is a C++ or Visual C++ attendance register. It works like the previous attendance register that I've developed or that I developed previously. If I click on this very arrow, as you can see, make a selection. And if I make a selection and click on save, you see that? No, because let's see that again. No marks on register. So I can always select this and populate. I can then select maybe absent. That guy is absent. That's absent too. Maybe this guy is sick and uh, this guy is an authorized absent. If I click on save, that's what you get. If you look at how many people are not present, are not present, we have one, two, three, four. In total, we have twenty students, and that makes it sixteen present. Here I have the register number, and that's just for the student uh, student attendance register. If I click on any of these. Kerry Casey that's supposed to be the picture of Kerry Casey of course I haven't entered re picture I just make up something and that's the picture of Remy Rose that's the picture of Paul Moore and that's the picture of Sammy Smith okay so I will show you how this whole system works here this is supposed to be the institution environment and here I just have numbers student numbers or student ID number their names course code whatever the attendance is and I also have save clear the date and that's all there is to it so what I will do now is let me just close this and I'll show you how the program looks like let's close this and maybe get rid of this as well as you can see the whole label all of the components in here are all labels they are all empty only when I run the program or when I debug the program will the component be populated so what I'll do next is take you guys into Visual C++ development environment and show you how I put this together. Okay, so let's start a new project now. Okay, let's start a new project. So we we'll click on new project right there. And uh, we have Visual C++ selected. Windows form application, give it a name. So I'm just going to call that visual c++ or visual c cpp attendance register underscore register that's it right there okay click on save all right now that that is saved the next thing i will do right now is just to define the size of my form Just let me make that one 1400 by let's give it approximately 700 and the position let's make the position center right there and the back color I might as well just set the back color right now let's go for black let me just make that black there then the next thing I will do is get my tools and select a group box. Let's get a group box there. Yeah, here we go. That's the group box like right there. Uh, maybe I should change the color of this very group box. And we change it to something bluish. Oh, yeah, let's go for blue right here now 
bit that's more like it and just extend it that much okay now I'm I need some couple of labels let's get some couple of labels there but one thing first let me get rid of these text content I don't need that that's fine and I now need labels uh, where's labels right here I have labels right here one there that'll be for my number and let me just change the font size of that particular labels to maybe about 10 and that will be number yeah that's fine that's number I can then copy this will be a student's number so student ID student ID now I need my course code there course code okay um I think I should get the student name first okay student name right here student name yeah that's fine and then and then I need a combo box let's go for a combo box right there that's a combo box here then I also need one button here. In fact, I need three of those. Let's uh, copy. Then I also need date and time right there. Okay, this button will be known as Claire. And this is save. Why this very button? We need to change that to something. Let me change the font size to wing, winging. The wingings, yeah, that's fine. Maybe about twelve or something, and change the content in there. Let's change it to an arrow, really. So let me look for. The symbol an arrow in my word document so all I need here now inside my word document is to get the symbol this very arrow that's fine just copy it now I can close this I don't need it anymore and come straight here and paste that in here there and that is the arrow right there okay so maybe increase the font a little bit the next thing is let's let's change the appearance to i think flat yeah and get rid of let me get rid of the border around this drop this appearance down border make that zero okay i'll cancel that and come down here let's see yeah the border is zero there and the color let me change the color to white font color right there change that to white and that's all there is to it so I might as well just move it nearer to nearer to my combo box okay I also need 20 combo box here so let's continue with the design now copy this drop it in there I know you guys cannot see it right now but let's change as follows um, let's change auto size change that to force back color make that white and make that uh, fit single okay just about that delete the test content in it there and then just copy copy it across and this will be for my why this is for the name student name and one more this is for the course code 
and right here just copy this across as well copy it across okay so I have all of the components in place now so all I'll then do is just populate it and give them a name all right let's copy across as three four five I need 20 of those and uh, I'll just speed it up and get back to you guys okay guys this how the interface is looking right now okay if I run this program now let's compile and run it okay all right I'm just gonna accept that and say yes to that is talking about especially this uh, icon here say okay so the next thing is just to yeah there's no error let's run it and see all right that's how it's looking right now there's nothing here nothing is happening okay, the only thing that is active is this that's like an active s anyway so every other thing nothing works so let's just start with the coding now but before i start you guys can if you notice this image right there look at this image is more or less like the gateway to the institute okay so i've also made use of this very image in my visual c sharp anyway maybe maybe i should leave it or that's the, that's like the gateway anyway so let's go into c plus plus now but before then here is the file that i'm working on double click on that file and double click on this very inner file and paste the following images i intend to use i'll be using this very one as my main that will be the institute okay let's see if you guys let me open that let's open it in paint and there that's it over there okay I've act I actually drew this in uh, flash and uh, it's one of my tutorial anyway so close that and close this too all right so the next thing is I'll double click on the on the form itself now that the form load is there so just click on that and just press enter right there I will enter these following lines of codes there so let's move this up a little bit okay let me show you guys the lines of codes right here LBL name that will just display student attendance register and this will display the register number maybe this time around let's just change it to seven and change this one maybe to 21 change the attendance register here as well okay then now this this is the image of the institute the image i showed to you earlier on and right here this combo box will populate as follows okay present absent sick late authorized absent and that's it that's for combo box one combo box two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And right here, combo box 21 is the one right on top. And whatever content I have inside my text box which which is text box 1 to 20 okay but the text box 1 to 20 will be invisible okay text box 1 to text box 20 will be invisible and that's all there is to it so if I 
come here let's save the bug build the solution well I'm just gonna call it the end of this very first part of a visual C++ attendance register see you guys in part two